might not be walking in a winter wonderland today, but you hear that? We can take a walk on the wild side, though. It will feel like yeah. we're doing the holiday walk because the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo has officially opened its holiday special event, Wild Winter Lights. It's so beautiful. Let's bring in John Rutter. He's live out there at the zoo for us this morning. You really have a great assignment. Who's peeking over your shoulder there? Yeah, well, what better way to celebrate the holiday season and then with over a million lights here at the Wild Winter Lights and some of your favorite costumed characters at Wild Winter Lights to celebrate the holiday season. Chris Kuhara, the executive director of the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, joining us this morning. Uh, first off, thanks for waking up with us. Uh, uh, you guys are constantly changing this event over the last three years. What can guests expect this year as they're coming out to see the lights? Yeah, so we're really happy with this. This is our third year in a row. Hopefully we're making this a holiday tradition around here in Cleveland. Um, this, is, this is a really great show. This is our best yet. Um, so in addition to, like you said, over a million lights, I haven't actually counted them, there's probably <laughs> more. Um, but we've got a lot of great things. We've got our, our character friends here. We've got model train displays. We've got ice carving. We've got choirs. We've got a lot of great things to come out and, and enjoy the full experience. And you can do that as a walkthrough or a drive through. I was just about to ask you that as a follow up question. You've got options to walk through or drive through. Talk about just making this accessible for really everybody here. Yeah, so, um, you know, to get the full experience, it's, it's best to do the walk through. That's Thursday through Sunday, going through uh, the, the end of the year, January 2nd. Um, but we also do a uh, drive through. So if you have some mobility issues, if you just don't want to get out in the cold, you got young kids and it's too, too far to walk, we do that on select. Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So you can choose your own adventure, so to speak, um, and come out and, and get the full experience here. Real quickly, I saw some of the uh, highlights as you can expect this year. A musical light show in the 50 foot tree back this year. So, real quickly, some of the things that folks can expect. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're, Wild Winter Lights is presented by NOPEC. We're really happy with the, the opportunities that it provides. The, the big tree with the, with the choreographed to music displays is really cool. Um, you know, and we got a number of displays that you can actually walk through. Uh, some really beautiful, one of my favorites is the, the giant willow behind the lake. So a really cool experience. All right, Krista, thanks. Appreciate you waking up with us and having us this morning. Uh, Danita, Katie, an exciting time to come out here and check out the lights. Uh, Trent, we are going to compare the red noses this morning. You mentioned it's not very cold this morning. Uh, we, we may beg to differ here. Uh, we're going to be comparing things throughout the morning, but nonetheless, you're going to want to experience the uh, wild winter lights at the Metro Park Zoo. Oh, good for you, John. I said to Trent, you're always teasing John about his red nose. As well, hey, it's Rudolph that, has him beat yeah. today. It's that rudder red nose index, man. Oh my goodness. We're proud. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.